What's up, guys? Falling on the theme of these sedge patterns. I'm going to do a wee bubble caddis today. Okay, this is the one here. Uh, great wee fly. Came across this about 25 years ago. I saw it in one of the fishing magazines that David McPhail had been tying it. And uh, it just looked fantastic. So I actually tried it in a place called Portmore Loch. And what he said was if you cast it out and let it sit for a minute, if nothing takes it, pull it slowly under. And then stop and it wobbles back up to the surface like a hatching sedge. I was doing that and the rainbows were just snaffling it. It was brilliant. Just popped back up with air bubble that's trapped in here under the wing. Great fly for that. So, hooking the vice, going to go for the same. These full and mill size 12s. You could tie them a little bit bigger, tie them on a 10, you could tie them on a B175, 170, whatever you fancy. Look in the vice, thread, just the thin, this is a uh, 80 in black, start at the eye, work your way down the body, using the tag end to let the thread turn slide down the hook. So when you get to the end, cut off your waist, and then you're looking for a bit of green foam. This is just a wee strip that I've cut off a sheet. I buy the sheets at Hobbycraft, they're about they're that thick, two or three mil thick. You just cut the same sort of section, okay? So if you pinch it, it narrows it up, it gives you a tying in point. So tie that in, stretch it slightly, run the bend, just run the bend in the mirror, and then fold it back in itself and pinch that in exactly the same place where you tie, finish tying it. And that creates a wee bubble. That just imitates the egg sac and it also adds a bit of floatability. So cut that away and then just use your thread to kind of bind that down, flatten that out a wee bit. Okay, take your thread back right to the, right in there. Then you're going to get a couple of CDC feathers. Okay, now these are quite good ones. The way they'll, these will be no problem. Now you see the natural curve. What you want to do is put the curve so that it curves back round. So take them like that, pull the fibres in. What you want to do is stroke all the fibres back, tie them in at the tip. Tie it in at the tip. Just make sure they're straight. So just pull them about till you get them straight. And then gently pull them in until you're right down to the tips, and then just tie that in. So that binds the feather in. Then take your thread back up to where you were starting, make sure that's tied in nice and tight. So the feathers are there, keep them at the road. Now, you want some dubbing. Now, you can use CDC dubbing, that's what David McPhail was using. Um, he collects that for these wee bits. He cuts a feather, he cuts all this off and uses that as dubbing. Okay. So basically he sits with these scrap ends and just collects all that, bags it until he's got a dubbing. And then he basically just dubs that on onto the thread, like that. Okay, same again, take that bit off, dub that on. Now you don't want it too tight because you don't want to crush it too much. Okay, so like that, get it started. And just basically wind down, take that dubbing down the body to about three quarters of the way down. So that's creating a nice loose dubbing. But it's very buoyant. Okay, so don't worry about wee bits all sticking out, that doesn't matter. Then take your two feathers and bring them forward. One on top of the other. And then what you do is you push it back to create your bubble. So get that where you want it. 
Just make sure your two feathers are sitting right, sometimes they're a bit of a fiddle. Just to get them to sit where you want them. And that looks about right there. So, work this bit away. And then come in a couple of turns. And just check that you're really happy with that. Okay, so cut that away. And as I say, Debbie says, keep using that. Who's going to argue with him? So then make sure that's bound in nice and tight. And that's your thorax area here. So what you can do is you can add some elk, some deer hair, some roe hair, whatever you want. Now you could use a different colour if you want to sort of make it a sighter. You could maybe use a bit of pink or a bit of pure white or just your natural colour, doesn't matter. So, pinch of deer here. Grab it with the tips, make sure the tips are all nice and lined and then pull on your rubbish shoot. Sometimes your deer hair's got a wee slight curve to it and you can make that curve the same way. Okay, so deer hair, length of the hook, length of the by the wing, sorry. Hold that on the top, pinch and loop on the top. Loose turn, loose turn, loose turn, and slowly pull it tight. And it'll flare the hair. And just come in, trim all that away. Now you're keeping the tips on the top. You don't want them turning around the hook. Okay, so just take a minute to tidy that up. Find in the tips. And that helps to create that extra bit of wing. Okay. And then at the thorax here, we're going to bind that in a wee bit with some other dubbing. So I'm just going to use some hairs here. Get some natural. I'm going to put a pinch of yellow through it, just as a wee change. Mix that together. Just creates a wee different colour. And then dub that onto your thread. So again, not too tight. You want a nice even piece, uh, just a nice even spindle. So hold your wing back and wind your dubbing up and wind it back down. A wee hitch on the eye just to hold it when I get my Work finished tool. So, work finished that. Do it again for extra security. Tighten that, cut your thread. Just the way you look, and it looks fine. And then, your best pal, take your Velcro. Carefully. Bring all the fibres up. Up and into the wing. Okay, so up and into the wing. And this creates pockets out here. So just watch when you're doing your, don't pull your CDC bits with your um, Velcro. And then just come in, tidy up underneath. Just clean that out a wee bit. Any kind of rogue fibres. But that's your bubble sedge. As I say, it floats like a cork. Absolutely brilliant. You can pop it under the surface and pop it back up. Hope you enjoyed that. Tie some up.